everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction guys and guys if you're new to this channel remember to subscribe smash that like button remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring and of course if you want to join BetUS scan the QR code and deposit $100 you get 125% sign up bonus. And of course, if you want to contribute to the channel, you can always click on the link description, baby. And of course, contribute via PayPal or join us on a live Snapchat, I mean, on a live watch along or a live catch up live stream and send your super chat. As always, thank you guys. But let's get straight to it because it is Manchester United. Neil, Newcastle, Neil, Manchester United, unable to get three points today against the Toons, the Toon Armies, the Geordies. Yes, Manchester United, unable, but go home with one point, which one point isn't good enough because today was a must-win match. Today was a game where Manchester United needed three points to continue their, their league's performances, to continue going up the stairs of the ladder of the Premier League. But no, they didn't do that today. What did they do on a Sunday? A Sunday afternoon? Yeah, they drew. They let us down. They made us watch a boring match, a bore draw. Scoreless draw for Manchester United in the first half as well. It stank. It stank because why? Newcastle themselves were slightly the better team. Manchester United could have done extremely better in the first half, especially with Manchester United being lucky in the first half with Joel Linton hitting the post. Wow, that was an opportunity for Newcastle. And then again, Newcastle came up with opportunities and opportunities. Do you know what Manchester United did with their opportunities? Couldn't break the lines. Newcastle was defending absolutely well. Big up to Newcastle defence because they gave us some problems. I'll be honest with you, they truly did. They frustrated us, they annoyed us. Each time, even though we had an opportunity to score some goals, not the best, not the most as well, guys. Our opportunities were very scarce. It was slim pickings for Manchester United. It was that we was rationing today, but the rations were probably finished. So what the fuck was we rationing? But yes, that first half, I wasn't impressed with Manchester United. We could have done so much better. And then when you would have thought Ten Hag would send these guys in the second half to just do something to improve to show us exactly what we are doing no 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 manchester united although they turn up the volume and up the volume a little bit in that second half what were they doing still couldn't break the lines of newcastle and we're still having that problems that we had last season last season dilemma is still causing us problems it's still coming back to us it's hurting off and he's like god damn it last season dilemmas get the shackles off my feet because i want to dance i just want the team to score and play some football get the shackles off the feet guys get it off because the second half manchester united amped up a little bit on, unable to do anything chances as well marks rashford missing the best of chances ronaldo coming off in a second of shaking his head like disappointed like no 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 this is unbelievable this is disrespect for the, for the greatest striker of them all ronaldo yes i know it was disrespect which i love the sportsmanship i love that ronaldo was a winner and he thinks that he shouldn't be taken off you know and it's not a bad thing as well it just shows that he thinks he's a player that can make a difference and score the goals and rightly so Ronaldo has done that in the past. But yeah, he came in off mumbling, mumble rapping, whatever he wants to do. Obviously, I ended up with shaking his hands with Eric Tenog. What's the point of doing all of that? Just makes you look soft. S-O-W-F-T, soft. <sighs> but yes, ended up with a goal, uh, with, a, uh, with a game, nil-nil, Manchester United just disappointing us. Some fans even left early because it's like, you know what? I've had enough of this shit. This is a Sunday morning. I'm going to go home and have my Sunday roast. Should, and should they do? Rightly so. The match ended nil-nil. Huh. United, you needed three points today. You really did. I was just not impressed. It wasn't good enough. We need those points. Two games at Old Trafford and they ended up with one goal in two games. A last minute win in the previous game. And today, nothing in the injury time, you know, just like the, in the last game. So, it was not looking good right now for Manchester United. You know, we should be progressing, especially when our other teams, like, ups have, are winning and we're not capitalising on the situation. But it is what it is, guys. Player rating rise, Ronaldo today. Whew. He was doing what Ronaldo usually does when he can't get goals. Not really contribute that much, but at least he got his plaque today. 
Ronaldo and David De Gea got their plaques. 700 goals from Ronaldo. Manchester United showing respect to them. David De Gea, 500 appearances presented to him by Sir Alex Ferguson, which was nice to see the hugs and all that kind of stuff. But God damn it, are we celebrating this? We really cel- we celebrating plaques and appearances for appearances and goals? Really? Really, really? Are we really doing that? For appearances and goals? My God. That's what we have fallen into. Damn it, man. But yes, Bruno as well. Shit game. Bruno's poor. I'm tired of it. He sometimes acts like a fraud. HM Revenue and Custom. Get on to him. You know, check him out. He's doing counterfeit business. You get me. But Fred as well, although he was playing as the second midfielder, pressing high, he as well at times was really frustrating to watch. I'm not going to lie to you. Anthony enjoyable at times flashes but he didn't get himself involved more in the first half in the second half he did Sh- Luke Shaw coming in for Terrell Melasio good on you mate you done all right but still I am not convinced with Luke and Shaw because Luke is on shore of many things whether to go past the byline whether to cross whether to defend whether to join the def- attack like just on shore about most of things even his fitness he's on shore by it but Rashford as well coming on mm, mm, mm. Sancho Paul as well you know, good in the first half, second half, not as much. Man the match today, again, goes to absolutely no one but the fans themselves for watching that match. Don't kill the match, in my opinion, got to go to Pastor Fred. It's Sunday, you had an opportunity, and you couldn't preach with a goal to score. My God, Jesus Christ, man. Fred, Pastor, please. Anyway, guys, this has been your match reaction. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share. And also, most importantly, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Who was your man of the match? And also, who was your donkey of the match? What did you think about today's game as well? Let me know. Was you impressed? Was you upset with Ronaldo thinking, yo, you shouldn't be screwing a mumbling like that. You didn't contribute shit to this game. But it is, guys. As always, guys, as I say before, we tune in tomorrow for the catch-up. And, of course, we've got the next watch-along. But as always, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it reunited. Your boy is out. Peace out. Boo!